going to another live auction this time at U Hall. Can you believe something like this just going on? You like it, Brian? Wow. Ooh. What is this? This has got a weird vibe to it. $375 in the front, got $375 in the front, and you want to send out Ford? Sold your rate, $375. $25.50 over 26 and 26 over 26 Last chance at the door, 26 Sold your way, $25.50. Jeez. I like what's not like. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm getting called in the office. Either I'm in trouble or there's a story here. What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, you know what day it is? It's an exciting day. Going to another live auction, this time at U-Haul. Same as the last time I showed you guys a live auction. Same route, same company. One month later, let's see if we can repeat the success because we got some good ones last time. Uh, like I said, I'm excited. You found one? Yeah. 0 0.5. What a one dog, baby. No interest. No interest. No interest. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. That's some pictures right there. No interest. Um, I don't know. It's not junk. I mean, it's not garbage. So there's a step up. She got my flashlight out. <laughs> never enough. As he is never enough. This is interesting. Not as gone. 
Oh, you want to sell it? Oh, you want to sell it? This has got a weird vibe to it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So right here, see the on Got a twenty-five dollar bid right here. Right, you're, you're twenty-five. I got twenty-five right here. Let me run fifty. I got fifty right here. Seventy-five. One hundred. One twenty-five. One fifty. One seventy-five. Two hundred. Two twenty-five. Two fifty. Two seventy-five. Three hundred. Three twenty-five. Three fifty. Three seventy-five. Four hundred. I got three seventy-five right here. Number four. Three hundred seventy-five dollar bid. Number four. I got three seventy-five. Number four. Anyone else in that four? Hold your weight. Three seventy-five. Last one here, last one here. We're heading to Dublin next. Dublin has eight, as far as I know. All right, I'm not sure how much of that I got on video. Hopefully enough to show you guys that there was a lot of garbage there. A lot of no sales, but a couple decent ones. Um, and yeah, I went to almost a thousand on one of them. I did like it. And I probably would buy it if I really needed stuff, but I don't need stuff. I still have five lockers I'm currently renting. Yeah, I know that's embarrassing. Three that I bought at auction, two of my own. I got a lot of stuff to move still and a lot of stuff to video. So um, I'm not super anxious today. I am picky, but that one looked pretty good. But you know what, um, Aziz got it. So we'll hear how he did. Hopefully he does well. And yeah, maybe there's like one other one I was thinking about bidding. I didn't, but it was, uh, it has some potential, a Yeti bicycle in there. I like that one. Right now we're going to Dublin. That's where I got the wheelchair locker. And last month there was some good looking lockers there. So uh, we'll see what they got. Last night it's supposed to be 11 units. We'll see how many is left. Hopefully something good. Hmm. Interesting. Got 70 over here, then for 80. 70 dog being the ready. Got 70 over here, 80 over here, 90. 100, 110, 120. I got 110 over here, the number 120. $110 bid, the number 120. Wilson at 120. Sold your weight, 110. Let's go to the metal inside. Let's see. Only the car. Only the car. Thank you. Perfect. Ooh, this is cool. Here's your copy of this receipt. All right, here's a second look at this unit from another of the bidders' camera. This is from Dan, my friend that also has a channel called Storage Hunters 101. And I included it because I didn't get enough uh, of the footage here. So I wanted you to see a little better what I liked about this. You see that bike? I think it's an electric bike. There's a, what appears to be a vintage guitar case. Of course, we saw a bunch of boxes there, look like iPhone boxes in the you know, right here in front. And then also there's at least two, maybe three iMacs on the ground there. So I like this, I like the vibe it was given, and I think I'm gonna bid. Hey, 206, hey, 206. I got 100 to start, it'll go 125. 200. I got 200, 225, 250, three, 350, 400, 450. I got 450 over here, five. 550, 6, 650, 7, 800. I got 8 over here, 850, 9, yeah. 950, 1000, yeah. 1050, 11, yeah. 1150, 12, yeah. got 1150, 12 over here, 1250, 18, 1850, 19, 1950, yeah. 2000, 2100, yeah. 22, I got 21 right here, over 22, 
2,100 being number 22. I got 21 number 22. Anyone else with 22? Yep. I got 22, 23. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got 22 right here, 23? Yeah. 24. I got 23 right here, looking for 24. 2,300 looking for 24. Last chance at the door, 24. I got 24, 50. 24, 50? I got 24, 50, 25. <laughs> I got 24, 50 right here, looking for 25. 24, 50 right here, looking for 25. 25 over here, 25, 50. Yeah, I got 25, 50, 26. I got 25, 50 right here, number 26. 25, 50 over 26. Anyone else, 26? Last chance of the door, 26. Sold your way, 25, 50. Jeez. Oh, yeah. You happy? <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Oh, let's go. Please don't touch the product yet. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you like? You like that? You like the case? Vintage. 2500 R case? Huh? 2700? Pay the mug. Ooh. Apple stuff. Ooh, Jack. Jack, you don't want to be hosting you. Hey, please huh? don't ruin the video. We're going to need you to get out. Yeah, I'm not going to get out. I'm not going to get out. I'm not going to get out. I'm Got 130 over here, the 140. Got 140, 150, 160. Got 150 over here, the 160. Got 160, 160 160. Got 170, 180, 190. Got 180 I got three right here, number 325. 300 dollar bid, number 325. I got three over here, number 325. Anyone else, 325? It's not closed. It's not closed. That's it. You're not going to buy anymore. You're spending too much today. I might have more pockets. Yeah. I'm not talking about that. I have pockets over here. Oh, wow. Right here. Oh, there you go. Oh, yes, he's sticky notes right there, Alex. That's good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> For auctions, that's like money just in there. Ooh. Oh, this is the little LEDs. Mm -hmm. Those are Cadillac rims. Mm -hmm. What's in the hatch? <laughs> what you want to leave it? Yeah, huh? That's what it is. Pick a box up top. What's going to wrap it up? Yes. Yeah. There's two boxes. There's two of them. D123, we start about $25 bid. Got 25 over here, about 50. Got a $25 bid, I'm a little over 50. 25 right here, over 50. Anyone send that 50? I got 50 over here, 75, 100. 125, 150, 175, 200. 225, 250. 275, 300. Got 275 over here, number three. Got 275 over here, number three. 275 over here, three. Anyone else that three? Right. Got three right here, 325, 350, 375, 400, 425, 425, 400, 425, 500. Got 475 right here, number five. 475 right here, number five. We got 475 right here, number five. Anyone see that five? Last chance for five. He's looking at you. So on the way, 475. He's looking at you. It's nice safe, man. Okay? You want that? Come on, man. Why you want to check the safe? No. You don't think so?
and taken like an hour to open it. Too many views. <laughs> then you gotta catch me three videos later when we do open this. Just that you don't watch this anyways, right? I do sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, he's a fan. It's nice. Sometimes. It's nice. Gotta watch because they be too long. I like to. I don't like those people that put the title like bro, and then you watch it is like garbage. It's a joke. Yeah, it's a joke. Time. And I put not like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we found the joke. That's from Texas. What <laughs> Raider game did you go to? No. I went to. I've been to Baltimore so far. I went to hey, Raiders one. I went to the Dolphins on what? Sunday. Oh, that was pretty yeah. good. Both of them were good. Yeah. Decent team. Became going to Oscar. Decent? Yeah. yeah. Like what decent? Oh, what do you mean decent? decent. <laughs> well, make a good video. Let's put yeah, that Yeah, season way. tickets out there. Yeah. 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 130. B130 will start about $10 bid. Got 10 over here, about 20. Got $10 bid over here, 20. Got 20 right here, 30. 40. 50. 60. 70. 80. 90. 100. 110. 120, 130, 140, 150. Got 140 right here, little 150. $140 bid right here, little 150. Got 140, little 150. What's 150? Soldier, 140. <laughs> Can you believe something like this just going on? You like it, Ryan? Wow. <laughs> 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 Mm. 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 Why does everything always look thrown in? Like they stood 10 feet back and just threw the items in. You guys laughing for I don't know the name. You have? Yeah. It's very high session. Million bucks. I don't know the name. You like it? Like what? You trying to interview me? Please, sir, no pictures. No pictures, sir, stop. Got 100 out here, 125, 150. 175, 200, 225, 250, 225, 250, 275, 300, Twenty-three, sixty twenty-three. You'll start about ten dollar bid. Give me ten bucks. I got ten down here. I'm about twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred, one twenty-five, one fifty, one seventy-five, two hundred. Got one seventy-five down here. We got two right here. Two twenty-five, two fifty, two seventy-five, three hundred, three twenty-five, three fifty, three seventy-five, four hundred, four twenty-five. I got four right here. Little four twenty-five, four hundred dollar bid. Little four twenty-five. I got four. Little four twenty-five. Sold your way. Four hundred. Right. 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 Right.
got five with her 10. Got five right here with her 10. Five dollars right here with her 10. I got five right here with her 10. He wants to have 10. Hold your way. Five dollars. Just because they're. I bought a go in there a while, while back. Just because they're not the same one. PS3. Three, and they're those like are always in the box, too. They're not giving me out there. They're always there. Every one I've ever bought has always been in the box. Last one. Last one. Those are kind of neat. Huh. I got a dollar over here, about five. I got a one dollar bid right in the number five. Dollar bid over number five, one number five, I got five over here, ten. Got five over here, number ten. Got ten over here, fifteen. Twenty. Got fifteen over here, number twenty. Fifteen dollar bid number twenty. I got fifteen over here, number twenty. It wasn't at twenty. So your way, fifteen. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that was it for the auctions. Uh, just two stops, but there was a lot of units to choose from. Right after I bought mine, uh, there was a couple more that came up right around the corner. I didn't get those on video because I was paying and talking to guys about it. So um, I have a feeling I grossly overpaid for that locker. And thank you, Aziz, again, for, for bidding me up on that. I know he gets a lot of enjoyment out of it, but uh, he liked it. I liked it. He liked that it had the guitar case in there, and uh, we did pick it up afterwards, and unfortunately, I think it's empty. Uh, it's an older case, so there could have been an older guitar in there, and that's not a good sign, but um, it's okay. I wasn't bidding based on that, but I think he was, so he was relieved to not have gotten it because he was hoping there's an old guitar. Quite frankly, I didn't see any single item there I liked. I just like the vibe of it. I like that bicycle which I'm hoping is electric. I like the, the Macintosh the IMAX in there, although they're probably older and not worth much. I just liked it. I saw a lot of things that I liked. I, I, I was interested. When I see a locker that I become very interested in what's inside, I just kind of have a feeling that you guys want to see it too. So sometimes I'll buy it because it's the mystery that I'm buying, not necessarily the profit. But of course, we're always hoping for profit. But on this one, I just liked it. And I just feel if I follow that, strategy profit will be there right it's worked out so far so we'll see uh, but again you pay 25.50 for a locker and um, it's harder to make a profit on that because of the cost but I, right now I'm headed over to my one I bought last month the golf club one and I got to get a load out of there and I, I'm meeting someone to hopefully sell some shelves uh, because I have only a few days left before I have to pay for another month and there's more money going out the door uh, cutting in the profit there so I'm trying to get a load out of there and see if we can make that deadline I don't think we're going to, but we're going to give it a shot anyways. Um, but anyways, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you guys had fun going to the auctions with us. Saw a lot of friends there, a lot of familiar faces, and that's always a good time. I miss the live auctions. But today, I got my fill, and we got some great stuff. Videos to come. Until then, good luck to you. All right, wait a second, guys. We're not ending the video just yet because I have a big update on this unit, this $2,550 unit, this unit that I was so excited about. I really, really was looking forward to going back and going through this locker. Uh, they gave me a week to go through it. I took about five days before my schedule cleared so I can get in there. And man, I had everything ready. I had my ice chest full of ice. I had my dolly, my garbage can, I had my supplies. I had my schedule cleared. I had hours to spend there. And, um, mm, show up forgot my receipt because it was in the truck and i brought the van so i go in the office and i say hey can you look up that unit i bought at auction because i don't remember what unit it was so the guy goes oh uh, hmm, i can't see it in here let me go ask the manager i said all right so he goes in the back room and i hear him talking about there and i hear the manager being like who's here what's his name oh i need to talk to him and so he comes out and he goes hey I need to talk to you. Can you come in here? And I'm like, okay. Um, like this is this is a little odd, but so I go in the office. He closes the door, and the assistant manager's in there. So there's the three of us, and he's like, yeah, about that unit. And I was like, okay. Uh, I'm getting called in the office. Either I'm in trouble or there's a story here. And he says, yeah, there's a story here. So that unit was not supposed to be auctioned off. He said the owner 
is not delinquent at all. And he's like, and actually he's a, he's a really cool guy. It was completely their error. They put that one on the list, was not supposed to be on the auction, wasn't supposed to have the lock cut, none of it. This happens sometimes, they get them mixed up the numbers. And wow, almost, almost something really, really unfortunate would have happened here to this owner. So they explained to me, um, they're really sorry. Uh, they were gonna give me all my money back. And they were just really, really apologetic about uh, the, the inconvenience really. And I was just sort of like, Hey, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Okay. I yes, I was admittedly disappointed because I was looking forward to this one so much, but I knew that I probably overpaid for the unit and there's no guitar in there. So I was already like, eh, but I still wanted to see what was in there because it just looked so good. This is a terrible mistake. If this guy had lost his unit and all his stuff because of it, that would have been terrible, right? It would have been terrible for him and it would have been terrible for the company. It would have stained the reputation. There probably would have been a lawsuit involved and just like so much negativity come out of that. And this is a great company. These guys are stand-up guys. I've gone there for literally decades, decades to rent trucks and trailers from them and they always take care of me. So I'm, I'm a customer of theirs. So I would never have wished that on them, right? For me, it's just a business. Like there's other lockers. It's no problem problem at all and they were so relieved by that um that i had that approach other guys maybe wouldn't have been so easy going i don't know but i was like it's no problem really 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 so they were happy uh they gave me the money back and um maybe there's some goodwill purchase there too they told me hey anytime you need something we'll take care of you it had a happy ending here right something uh, just a human error something we all do could have been terrible but here we had happy ending this just never happened to me right but it did happen to somebody else going back a couple of years and this I heard I talked to the guy at another auction and he was explaining how he bought a unit that got auctioned off by mistake the wrong person's lock got cut he purchased it cleaned it out the facility called him and said we need you to bring the stuff back that was not supposed to be auctioned and his approach was uh, too bad that's your problem I'm not bringing the stuff back it was good stuff and I've got it it's already gone it's in my possession and I'm not bringing it back and I know another guy there was advising him like hey man they're gonna ban you from the auctions you won't be allowed to go back there and he was just sort of like too bad of course mine wouldn't have been the same approach uh and i'm so happy it didn't go to that point right if i had moved all this guy's stuff out into my locker or into my garage or whatever i would have felt obligated to bring it back right because it, it just was not right the guy did nothing wrong he didn't pay his bill late. He didn't do anything that deserved that. It was just a mistake, right? But thankfully, thankfully, I'm the guy that bought it because I'm probably one of the slowest guys at the auction. That was a Wednesday auction. Some of the guys would have been at the market Thursday selling the stuff off. They would have loaded it same day and spun it off. I walked in like five days later and I'm like, all right, I'm ready to get started. So we bought some time for this error to be resolved. Thank God for that, right? Thank God for that. Yeah, but anyways, I did lose the locker, $2,550 locker. Uh, I didn't get a chance at that one. And I was really just looking forward to seeing what was in there, right? What was in there? Lots of boxes, a lot of mystery, a lot of cool things that I saw. But mm, there are more lockers and um, don't worry about me. I've got a couple more lockers that we have to clean out together, all right? You're going to see those coming up real soon. And really, I've been so blessed this year. We've had fantastic lockers. I've just been on a roll. I've bought some real turds also, right? But we've had so many home runs this year. Who am I to complain? I have nothing to complain about. Anyways, uh, that's the story, and it's one for the Locker Nuts record book, right? Locker Nuts first, again. I love this. Okay, so, but anyways, we got more videos coming up, more lockers to clean out. You'll see those in upcoming videos, but until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. All these pieces, you can tell they're, they're nice quality. I just, even for quality, I think the prices are a little, oh, 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 I see Prada right there, and I see Chanel right there, look at that, woohoo, this is some good partners right here, Chanel, uh, wow, that's really soft too, and a Prada scarf.